we're going to be uh, tracking now um, a an in-show narration, a TV narration demo with Scott Rummel in the booth. We hope you guys enjoyed this session. It's going to be awesome. So let's start with uh, Seven Wonders of the Universe or whatever this spot is right here. Okay. And um, uh, just like we did on the commercial, man, let me see where you think it should go, and then we'll take it from there, okay? okay. We are rolling. As we leave behind the asteroid belt... <laughs> Is that what you were thinking? That's exactly it. Let's move uh, on to the next spot. You said asteroid. Asteroid. Hey, you can't say asteroid on YouTube. Um, Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> As we leave behind the asteroid belt, we chart a course to the next of our seven wonders. Number three, Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system. If you were able to climb the 13 miles to its summit, you could take in a view of the very edge of the Martian atmosphere. Today, Olympus Mons is 100 times the volume of Earth's largest volcano, Mauna Loa, located on the Big Island of Hawaii. Hey, beautiful. I love that. That was fantastic. On this Bora Bora shark spot, um, I, would, I would just like to proceed a little softer. Okay. So invite first the spectacular blue waters, right? And then all of a sudden... It gets dangerous, okay. but keep it all a little bit more on the hush side. All right. And we are rolling. The spectacular clear blue waters off the lush island of Bora Bora in the South Pacific lures divers from all around the world. But just outside the pristine beauty of this lagoon. But just outside the pristine beauty of this lagoon, the waters are teeming with dangerous predators. Sharks. At least 16 species of them. Diver, be warned. If you don't bother them, they won't bother you. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's so good. Earth, Wind, and Fire documentary. Here we go. We are rolling. In the 1970s, the irresistible groove of funk music gave rise to this electrifying group. Earth, Wind, and Fire would go on to sell over 100 million albums worldwide with chart-topping hits like Shining Star, September, and Boogie Wonderland. Rolling Stone calls them one of the most innovative bands of all time. Bingo. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Great direction. Beautiful. Love it. We got it. Okay. See how easy that was? Easy. Uh, the main thing here, man, is just relatable, no announcer at all. Okay. Okay. The guys are, hey, one of the guys. Okay. That's it. And we are rolling. Most pools use just one motor and one filter. To power this massive backyard paradise, it takes three filtering systems and 13 pumps. Well, it's time for the Wagner family to see their underwater oasis. It measures 160 feet long. That's more than the length of a football field. That's more than half the length of a football field. It has three towering waterfalls, two high-tech grottos, and their very own lazy river. Nice. Excellent. We move on, ladies and gentlemen. Moving on. Scott Rummel in We're the house. On. Let's go to... Uh, Reasonable Doubt. Yeah, let's do that. And we are rolling. The four bald tires on Parton's abandoned truck didn't match the impressions recovered at the crime scene. But when investigators compared the picture they had of the suspect's truck, the tires were different. By using decoy tires, Parton had made a colossal mistake that became a crucial piece of evidence in solving the case. Beautiful. Wow, that was a good one. So great, man. Peter Thomas would be proud. Uh, Thank you. Did you hear what she said? I did, yeah. That's that a was big good, Stacy. And we are rolling. Amelia Earhart, take one. It's the greatest unsolved mystery of all time. July 2nd, 1937. Amelia Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan disappear over the Pacific Ocean, never to be seen again. Now, decades later, a former federal agent who spent 10 years combing through the records of government agencies has uncovered evidence that not only did Earhart not perish at sea, she survived only to suffer a more shocking demise. Bam! That was good. That was great. What are you talking about? Good. Ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute. He's closing the iPad, and we are done. That's let's, a wrap. Let's bring Scott out and ask him how he feels after all that. Boy, as he's had a workout today. Come on out, buddy. Scott Rommel, 
You just finished your intro narration demo. So what are you going to do now? I'm going to Walt Disney World. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this is almost a dream for me to have Scott, after all these years, come back, almost like going back in, back in time, you know, and, and working together again. Because we used to work together almost every day. Almost every right? day. Almost every day. It was Hundreds so cool. of commercials. Hundreds. Thousands, probably. Probably, yeah. Yeah. So how do you feel, man? Uh, I mean, first of all, I know you've had a little bit of a workout, for sure. I mean, yeah. We've been, we've been voicing now for a bunch of hours because we did a commercial demo, and then we just did an in-show narration. How are you feeling? I feel exhilarated. I really do. I feel like we did a great job today. I feel like I'm going to have a great representation commercially and for in-show narration. For sure. And I'm just... Awesome. It just feels great. I mean, it, it felt like home being in this studio again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really did. It felt like coming home, and and uh, you're just such a great director. Well, I thank mean, you, over man. the years, you've really just become a fabulous director. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. Stacy helps a lot in that. Yes, in absolutely. That area. And Stacey is awesome too. She and gave uh, me some great direction. I, I got. I got to say, man, you guys are in for a big treat because now we get to play his in-show narration demo completely done. And here it is. <laughs> the spectacular clear blue waters off the lush island of Bora Bora in the South Pacific lures divers from all around the world. But just outside the pristine beauty of this lagoon, the waters are teeming with dangerous predators. Sharks. At least 16 species of them. In the 1970s, the irresistible groove of funk music gave rise to this electrifying group. Earth, Wind and Fire would go on to sell over 100 million albums worldwide with chart-topping hits like Shining Star, September and Boogie Wonderland. They used the same elements in terms of gospel, funk, jazz. It's just it was more polished. Rolling Stone calls them one of the most innovative bands of all time. The four bald tires on Parton's abandoned truck didn't match the impressions recovered at the crime scene. I was able to determine that the tire impressions was made by one of seven, and one of them being the Cooper Wild Country tire. By using decoy tires, Parton had made a colossal mistake that became a crucial piece of evidence in solving the case. As we leave behind the asteroid belt, we chart a course to the next of our seven wonders. Number three, Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system. The base of it is about almost 350 miles across. If you were able to climb the 13 miles to its summit, you could take in a view of the very edge of the Martian atmosphere. July 2nd, 1937. Amelia Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan disappear over the Pacific Ocean, never to be seen again. To her, flying was such a wonderful experience. Now, decades later, a former federal agent who spent 10 years combing through the records of government agencies has uncovered evidence that not only did Earhart not perish at sea, she survived. To power this massive backyard paradise, it takes three filtering systems and 13 pumps. We have two for the Lazy River, two for the Big Falls that are 600 gallons per minute per pump. It's time for the Wagner family to see their underwater oasis. It measures 160 feet long, has three towering waterfalls, two high-tech grottos, and their very own Lazy River. 